What's going on guys, my name is Tom from Red Labs and today I'm going to show you how to make easy wireframes in Cinema 4D. Alright, so I downloaded this 3D object from somewhere on the internet for free. Uh, but this tutorial will work with any 3D object that you made in Cinema 4D. Um, so the first thing I want to show you guys, if you go to display and click on growth shading plus lines, you'll actually see the segments. And segments is what we're going to use to create uh, the wireframe lines, I guess. So the first thing I want to show you, if you think this is a little bit too much for the lines, uh, there's an option to reduce the polygons here. If you go, if you click on the, under this tab and you click on polygon reduction, and I'm holding alt or option to make it a child, and this will take a while to uh, count. So I'll just cut to, oh, it's already finished actually. Um, but as you can see, uh, they heavily reduced the polygon count. Uh, for this tutorial, we're just going to use a normal one. But if you download an object that's really like high in polygon count, you can use the polygon reduction. So there are basically two options that I use to create wireframes in Cinema 4D. And the first one is a fairly easy one. If you go to the render settings here. All right, so if you go to object here and you click on cell renderer and you check off, uh, check on edges, I'll show you what the preview looks like now. It's basically already a, a wireframe version of this. Um, so let's just do one render of this and I'll show you how to create actually like make the lines thicker in Photoshop because that's not possible with this option in Cinema 4D. All right, so I drag the image into Photoshop. Um, so the first thing I want to do is I want to make the layer only uh, where the black lines are basically visible. Uh, so we're going to remove the white background and the way that I do this, I go double click on my layer. And here in the blend if section, if you drag in these sliders, you actually see that the uh, white parts are just gone because the background is like a pure white and um, if you hold alter option here you can basically uh, you can still kind of see that there's a little bit white on the white edges here let me just uh, put a black background or a color background at least all right so now you can actually see what it what we're doing here and it looks a bit messy so what I want to do is I want to drag this in a little bit more and try the other one in as well Something like this, I think should be fine. And now if we convert this to a smart object again, we actually have a like transparent wireframe. So if we go to color overlay, and we'll color this white or red or black, uh, you can actually see that we're having a pretty nifty uh, wireframe image here. And if you would be, uh, if you would like to like expand this, uh, you can either use a stroke, so a little bit too big now, so let me just make it black and then... Uh, but as you can see, this immediately makes the lines a bit too thick. Um, so what I usually do is I go to an outer glow and basically do the same thing. So I'll just reset this to default. Use a black color and just have the blend mode to normal. And just lower the amount of pixels so if we put one here and you can lower the opacity uh, and now you're actually able to play around with the thickness of the lines here so this is the first option let's go to the second one all right so for now let's go to the render settings and turn off the cell renderer and what we're going to do now is we're going to use the lines to cre actually create a 3d object um, but beware if you use this method um, let's see if i can show it to you now I click on lines you can actually see there are way more lines in this uh, object here and that's because we're also seeing the back of the uh, of the head here and if we just go to normal like lines uh, to hidden lines you'll actually see only the you only see the lines that are visible in uh, well your viewpoint um, and the way that I'm going to use this now it's maybe a little bit more appropriate to use on like circles or globes so let's just hide the skull object for now and let's just add in a sphere and if we lower the segments to uh, about like 16, it looks a little bit better here. And uh, we're going to use the sphere here to uh, create a 3D object out of the lines. So if we press C to edit this, we'll go into the lines and we'll press Command or Control A to select all of the lines here. And then we'll go to Mesh, Commands, Edge to Spline. And you'll see that there's uh, a spline object created as a child of the sphere. 
so let's just put this uh, remove this and uh, if we go to our normal view here actually you'll see grow shading and you see the uh, sphere object here but if we hide it you only see the lines and we can use this to make a sweep uh, and create a 3d wireframe object so let's put this into a sweep and put a circle inside of it and create a circle and make it like uh, a radius of one maybe and if we zoom in now you can actually see that we have a 3d object made of wireframes and i want to create a material with a luminance because then we don't have any shadows so let's see if we make this green for example and turn off the reflectance this is now a pure green wireframe object and if we would render this we still need to turn off the skull and the actual sphere and you'll see that we actually have a uh, wireframe object here we, which we can render um, but if you still want to use this way um, we can actually use the sphere that we had as like uh, to block whatever is in the back so if we just make this pure uh, black like this without any reflectance and put it on sphere and if we render it now in the renderer you'll actually see that it's uh, the back lines are now blocked uh, from our view um, which results in a 3d wireframe object basically in the same way but you can still play around with like the thickness of the lines in cinema 4d uh, so yeah guys that was it look a uh, pretty quick tutorial, uh, fairly easy to do, but I thought it might be easy for some people that are interested in using wireframes for the artworks and uh, searching for a quick way to actually convert these. So I want to take this quick time to thank all of my patrons for supporting me. Uh, so if you don't know, uh, the project file for this tutorial and uh, for every other tutorial that's on my channel, uh, you can find the project files on my Patreon. Uh, as well as a 15% discount in the Red Labs web store and an exclusive Discord role. Uh, so yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for supporting me and making me be able to uh, make more tutorials, more guides and more products for you. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments or join us on Discord and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.